Hey everyone, Tim here, timscomputerfix.net once again. Today, doing a video on how to install the Dark Rock Slim Cooler, the one you see here. This is the 180 watt TDP version. This is the thinner version with the 120 millimeter cooling fan. This is the BK024 model. Dark Rock Slim. We're going to be installing this on this ROG Maximus Hero motherboard that has a i9 9900K installed in it. So this is instructions here, an instructional video on how to install this cooler. So let's open it up. have the unit itself. Nice looking cooler though. Set the fan aside there. And here's the actual cooler. So let's have a look at the accessory box. Going to be all of the brackets and everything that you need. These are the clips that's going to clip your fan onto the cooler. And of course, you're going to have your different brackets and back plates for your different solutions, either be it Intel or AMD. So, in this case, obviously, we're going to go Intel. And ah, comes with its own, comes with its own thermal paste. Okay, so one thing you want to be sure to take note here: there's these notches in this back plate. So the outer notch up here is for 1366 only. The inner notch. It's for all of your 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156. So we're going to be sure to mount our screws through this inner drilled slot. Also, on the mounting brackets, be sure that you are positioning them correctly, which we, I'll show you in a minute. But you notice how they have a bend in it right here that's faced up. So what you want to be sure of also there's these notches here the inside notch where the bend is we'll call this the bend right here the inside notch of that is for your 11 1151 1155 and 1156 and the outside notch is for the 1366 or 2011 or 2066 so bear all of that in mind as we go so what we want to do is that we want to take the back plate screws. We want to go ahead and insert those for our 1151 socket into our inner drill, pre drilled slot. But before we do that, we want to go ahead and take a washer, position a washer, and stick our screw through that. So that's going to kind of hold the screw into place. So I'm going to kind of push that in there like that. Get it in the correct slot. Push that washer down as far as I can get it. And that kind of holds that guy in place. Okay, we kind of want to do the same thing with all of the slots here, washer and back plate screw. You'll know the back plate screw because it has a just a complete uh, smooth end on it. There's no place for like no place for like a screwdriver or anything so There's 
that. There's that. So that's it. That's all of them installed. So now we just want to take our motherboard. Flip it over and we want to position the screws to go right in to the appropriate holes there on the back of the board. You might have to play around with it a little bit, but it's all the inner slots. Once there, you don't have to worry about it. Now, you want to hold that back plate into place and keep holding it. Flip it over and just keep it held with your hand underneath and you'll see the screws coming through the holes here. So now you can just set that down on a flat surface. And now you can see where the screws here are coming up. So that's what we want. That's, that's what we want to see at this point. So now we want to take the, the mounting nuts and screw those onto and thread those onto those screws that are sticking up here. Just go finger tight is fine. Finger tight. Finger tight. Okay, now we want to place these brackets. Now these brackets, you want to face them facing the curved part facing inward. And you want to mount these to whichever way you want your cooler to face. So in this case, we want the cooler to be facing, going front to back. So that's what we're going to do here. And now we want to secure these with the mounting bracket screws. I'll just put that on there a little bit, and then this one here. Just like that. I haven't tightened them up yet. We'll do the same thing. Facing inward. Facing inward. All right, and we'll just go ahead and just tighten them up. Just snug, snug them down. You don't have to use a massive amount of force to tighten that up with. All right, next step. Little bit of thermal material. I always like to kind of spread mine a little bit. Perfect. So now, always remember to take the plastic off of the bottom, protective plastic off of the bottom of the heat sink. Okay, 
And then we want to be sure to that our Be Quiet logo is going to be facing in the correct position. So then we want to take the the ridged side of the mounting bridge, slide it underneath, get it positioned in the middle, like that, just like that there. And then we'll set gently set this down on the processor. Line up, line it up with the bracket holes there. And then we'll take the, the two bridge fastener screws and we will secure that down onto the brackets. Right, I'll start off a little at a time on both sides. Okay, got them started. As you can see here. Okay. So we'll just get a little snug on one side, and we'll go over to this side, and we'll get a little snug on this side. That's snug. That's snug. That is on there. So our heat sink now is mounted nicely onto our processor. Boy, does that look nice. Okay. Now we do the fan. Got our fan here. I want to turn this to where the cables are faced on the side of the CPU cooler so we can sort of hide those cables away from sight best as possible. We're going to take our brackets here, place our fan brackets, hook them in like that. So I'm hooked in. Go ahead and hook the other side in. Okay, they're hooked in on both sides. We can kind of set that into place however we like. And then we can just snap them in around the little groove that's in the heat sink. It just snaps right in. Same thing on the other side. Turn this around. Ah. A hook came off on this side. Yeah. Just be sure you're hooked in right and everything. Snapped in. Snapped in. That's it. How about that? Then all we have to do, plug in our CPU fan header to the appropriate fan header there on the board. CPU fan header. And we're good. Good to go. What a sleek looking cooler. Also notice that it's not blocking any of the memory slots. So that's a key feature. Nice cooler. Works well. Hope this helps somebody out. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.